Dr. Stephanie Rapke not only helps her patients recover from cancer, but she educates them on how to maintain a healthy lifestyle. And she practices what she preaches by taking the necessary time to care for herself as well. I was raised in Maryland. I'm living in Central Florida with my husband. I'm a physician. I'm a cancer specialist doing radiation oncology, working full time. I have three children. One, one is a doctor, one is studying speech pathology, and one is in the military going to school. I'm a person who really likes to exercise and take care of myself. Health is very, very important to me. Though she lived an active lifestyle, Stephanie suffered a herniated disc and was treated with a spinal fusion. She is one of the lucky few who recovered from the fusion surgery despite a 10-day hospital stay, an infection, a seven-week recovery time, pain that left her on narcotic medication for a few months. But over time, the fusion, leaving her spine a bit more inflexible, caused the level above the fusion to become unstable. This resulted in additional pain. When I was in my early 30s, I gave birth to my daughter. And after that, I lifted something very heavy and I herniated a, a lumbar disc. And I went for six years getting various treatments. Finally, I went to Johns Hopkins and I had a laminectomy and a spinal fusion. And I did physical therapy, I got a lot better. And then I exercised, I did everything I wanted. But unfortunately, in doing all my activities, I lifted an air conditioner. <laughs> I really made a big mistake. So after that, I had pain a little bit above the area where I'd had the spinal fusion. And over several months, I developed some numbness and tingling in my legs, feeling that my legs were actually weak feeling like they were sort of in molasses when I was trying to walk. I remember walking across the street and feeling like I could hardly even lift my legs. I was living in Seattle at the time. So I had pain sort of in the low back area, about the lumbar three area, as well as these symptoms in my legs. So I had MRIs and they told me that I had some spinal stenosis at lumbar three, which is above the area of the fusion and I had a series of epidural injections, which only really gave me relief for a few months. Now, after this time, I moved to Central Florida and I was working there and I still had these symptoms. I was very, very worried. I mean, my husband tells me he was worried I was gonna end up in a wheelchair. Unfortunately, her pain progressed differently than most patients and she developed a rare condition called cauda equina syndrome. I had local pain in that area and that was debilitating enough but the real problem was that I had numbness and it, they called it a cauda equina syndrome. There was pressure on all the nerve roots that went into my legs from the lumbar three. Then it's below the level of the spinal cord. It was pressing on all the nerve roots into both legs. So my legs were weak. I felt like I was walking through molasses and I had numbness and tingling. I'm telling you, I couldn't do very much. I was going to work, I was coming home, I was doing no exercise. I was having trouble even walking. I was extremely disabled from that cauda equina syndrome as well as the back pain. I mean, there, there was really not much hope. She searched for relief from virtually every conservative treatment possible with no luck. Before I went to the Bonatti Institute, obviously I, I would see conservative treatments because I really didn't, didn't want to go back for surgery and I didn't really know all the options. I had the epidural injections, which only worked very for a short period of time. I went for physical therapy, which did nothing. Actually, it made me worse. I went to chiropractors, which didn't work. I had acupuncture, which didn't work. I had radiofrequency ablation, which didn't work. I took pain medicine, which was really only a Band-Aid, and, and it was really not a good answer because it wasn't solving the problem. So my husband brought me a, a newspaper article talking about minimally invasive spine surgery at the Bonatti Institute, which happened to be about 20 minutes from where I was working. So, I mean, I took this as a sign that I was supposed to go there. It talked about a free consultation. You bring your MRIs, they review it with you. They, they let you know about their procedures. They, they tell you if, if you might be a good candidate. So I went there, everyone was very nice to me. They took a lot of time reviewing it. And they said, yes, at, at the lumbar three level, they thought that they could help me and that it, it wouldn't be a long recovery time. I, I might only have a day or two off work and the post-operative recovery time would be very minimal. So I decided that I was going to do it because I really didn't have many other options. And I thought, gee, the other procedure it took me seven weeks to recover from and I had 
metal plates and screws, which I absolutely did not want to go through. So this sounded like a really, really good option. The consultation process at the Bonatti Spine Institute is the first of many opportunities for a patient to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the surgeon. During this visit, Bonatti surgeons will not only review x-rays and MRIs, but they will take all the time necessary to ensure the patient has answers to all the questions he or she may have. I went there knowing that, that I really wanted to do this, but I had a very open mind. I had a general physical examination and then I met with Dr. Bonatti. He reviewed my entire MRI with me. He was extremely informative. He's very knowledgeable. And he explained to me what the procedure would be like at the lumbar three level where he would start the first procedure. And then only after that, if I still had symptoms or problems, would he consider anything else? So he drew diagrams. He showed me the MRIs. He really explained in detail what the operative procedure was, that I wouldn't have to take off any time before. I would come in the day of the procedure. I would have some very light anesthesia. I would be awake because they like to ask you questions. And then I would actually get off the table and see how I felt. And that's what he told me about, which sounded completely different than my major operation that I had before. The team of surgeons, specialists, and staff performing the patented Bonatti spine procedures remain in constant communication with the patient during the short surgery, helping the patient remain calm and comfortable through the entire process. First, I met the anesthesiologist and the nurses because they had to explain what they were gonna do. And then they brought me in, and I remember actually getting on the operating room table. And then I remember the anesthesiologist being there and then giving me some light anesthesia. So I was sort of in a twilight kind of asleep, but I, I could underhear what they were saying. And then I remember Dr. Bernati talking to me, specifically telling me what he was doing. You know, well, I am now here at the lumbar three area. This is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm doing right now. I'm removing the bone from this side of it. I'm going to this side, I'm removing some bone. I'm seeing some scar tissue. I remember him going through that. I felt complete trust. I mean, obviously he was an expert. He developed the procedure. I didn't have any anxiety or any problem with any of the procedure whatsoever. And I do remember him telling me what, what he was doing at that time. Like many other patients, Stephanie's relief from symptoms began just after standing up from the operating table. I had the procedure. And then they wanted to get me up right away. And I was thinking, getting me up right away? I mean, this, this is very quick. Well, I remember them helping me off because I was still a little dizzy from the anesthesia, putting my legs down and starting to walk. I didn't have any of that feeling of the syrupy feeling that my legs were weak, that I couldn't lift them, no pain, actually no symptoms. It was like a miracle. I had no symptoms whatsoever. I could not believe it. I'd never expected to have a complete relief of all the problems that I'd been going through for, for months, you know, possibly up to six months. It, it was, it was like, I, I actually called it a miracle, feeling that I had no pain whatsoever. And I just had so many things to look forward to, like, like a normal life. It, it was just like doors were opening up. It, it was a wonderful experience. It may be 10 years after her Bonatti spine procedure, but Stephanie is still pain-free and living a life without limits. I'm someone who likes to be very, very active. So there were so many things that I hadn't been doing that I just gradually started doing all of them. I know from my experience, it gave me a new life. This is 10 years after my surgery. I still have no problem. I think that somebody should definitely consider this. It's not gonna interfere with your life. The recovery time is extremely minimal. There was really no pain involved. And who wouldn't rather have something like that than a major operation? And I think it, it, it was 100% it was successful in me.